Welcome to this overview of the disavow process. So this is going to be a two video series. The first video is going to look at extracting all the links and going through which ones you want to disavow. And then the second part, the second video is going to be creating a TXT file to submit to the uh, to submit to Google's disavow tool. So without further ado, let's just uh, let's just jump straight into it. We've chosen one of our websites to disavow here. So if we just selected from our list and we've gone down to the one, uh, the one that we want to disavow. Um, and if I go, so that's it there. And then so what I click on is I click on links to your site. And that brings me out this huge extract of all the links to the site. And what I can do there is I can download this table. And this gives me then, as you can see, it's all of the domains and the number of links. And basically I can go through this and I can be, oh, what do I want? What don't I want linked to me? So if I'm a web developer, then I probably don't want strange things linked to me like these. So I would disavow them because maybe I've created them trying to get some SEO when I didn't know what I was doing but now I don't want them. So things like this, uh, the good ones like Pinterest, the good ones like the Association of Graphic Artists, you obviously want that. It's visually, it's very web design focused, CSS design, that's all fine. But things like trade.gov, no, I, I don't want that. And so what you need to do is, is more or less work in tandem. It's a bit manual, but you can do it for free as you, in, uh, as you install is you install the Majestic app, which is a backlink analyzer that gives you some trust flow. Um, so trust flow is telling you if the site's trustworthy or not. So for Google Webmasters, this uh, subdomain is saying it's, it's trusted this probably isn't the best example, but you can get a feel for it. So anything over about 20 is quite good trust. So a lot of crappy links have, you know, not applicable trust. So if I go to um, something, if I, just, if I just take one of these, so say if I go to directory free, and I just click that in there, um, then what is the trust on this? It's probably not too bad, it looks kind of established. So the trust on the 28, so I would keep that link, but then I would go down and I'd say, okay, what's the trust on this thing called overland.org.au and exactly what is that? Why do I have so why do I have a link to that? Um, so some I don't know what this is. I do not want to link to it. So that is something that I would disavow. Just not I mean it it may have trust flow but nothing to do with web design. So I disavow that one. And I'd really just, basically it, it's very manual, but you go through and you come up with a list once you've extracted everything. So international students, I completely disavow that. Tropasongirls.com, don't know what that is. I, I don't know why we're listing it. Um, your professional wedding blog, that has totally got to go. Um, so you don't want any links onto that. So yes, for whatever reason, these things have been created, but that's fine, we can just get rid of them. So, so things like elegant themes, you wanna keep that, that's relation, that's relation to a web design um, operation. Whereas the Sage Farmers Market, no, you definitely wanna disavow that. So, so without further ado, uh, what you do is you can just go through there and you can mark, it's like, okay, I want that to be disavowed, I want to be that to be disavowed, not that I do want WordPress to be disavowed, so you can get that disavowed, um, that disavowed, that disavowed, uh, so that disavowed. And basically what I would do then is I just sort, um, and I would go, so once you've done all that, filtered by color, so you've got all your di disavowed ones. So you've checked those for trust flow, like right, that's what I want to disavow. Um, if you do that, that that's great. 
so what we'll do then is we'll prepare a file and that file is going to that file is going to represent your whole links uh, that you want to disavow so everything that's not related to your website I would probably disavow it unless it's a valid news site or something of actual interest and relationship otherwise really really disavow it's a big hit to do but it works really effectively because you just get rid of all this rubbish so the next step is just to create a txt file uh, so you go into notepad and you paste down that there and you can save that um, as your we we'll save that as a disavow file so disavow sample video dot uh, txt I was going to save that anyway so great and then what we do is we go into Google Webmasters uh, this is the second step so we click on a link uh, which has got and we go down to our website and it gives us a warning that this is really really serious so only proceed with it when you know what you're doing and we know what we're doing because we've only we're only including bad links or spamming links or links that aren't relevant so we disavow and it says they last disavowed on August the 23rd um, so what I would do is I would uh, and then I can see all my links there I'm not going to download that but that's my last file so I can always just download that and make updates to it and then resubmit it but what I'll do here is I will go to my uh, sample I'm not going to submit it because that's just this was crazy um, but I will go to our sample video so I do that and then I push submit now once I push submit uh, it that's the process um, now for me I'm not going to do that um, I'll just close out of that uh, by doing that so nothing if so nothing's happened that's fine so yeah that is the process to get rid of your links what you'll see then is absolutely nothing it'll just it, it'll give you a message saying you've disavowed uh, which I can show you here uh, so disavow file update and it says to the webmaster we've received your disavow file and it's the it contains it contains a 484 domains so the secret is when you do your txt file is you just create it in a long list of of domains you don't do the links uh, you know like the extensions you just you just put down you just put down the whole domain it's a lot safer so if it's um, so if I show you an example of mine um, txt I'll see, I'll see how I disavow file so basically it's just that's the format it goes into so domain and then push that one there domain 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 and that's it that's exactly what you do so it's it's just the whole domain going and uh, yeah so that's it you just submit that usually it kind of it's hard I mean of course it's almost impossible to tell how quick it picks it up but you can see some changes within you know a couple of weeks if you're really badly penalized then it's going to help uh, tremendously so just do that and, and just do a check-in every month see the latest links that have been submitted to your site and with those just create a more uh, create a disavow update and that's really it so thanks for watching uh, and this is taking you now through the disavow file there's going to be some sample links down below just to make sure you can prepare the txt file and then there's going to be some sample links for actually submitting it so straight in once you log into google webmasters you'll have the right links to be able to do it thanks very much for watching
and please leave comments below.